I'm saying on three, brownstone. One, two, three. Brownstone! Give me your love, man. Say it. Trust me. Do it. You want me. Brownstone's 1995 debut album gave us hits like If You Love Me. The album went platinum and the group was even nominated for a Grammy Award. Sadly, the trio only released two studio albums and haven't been seen on the music charts since 1997. This is a story of internal conflicts, lineup changes, and an untimely passing. Don't forget you can gain access to this audio and one unreleased super messy video per month on the RRG Patreon. Details are in the description box. Now, let's get into today's video. Monica Mimi Doby, Charmaine Maxi Maxwell, and Nicole Nikki Gilbert all met in Los Angeles in 1994 while attending various auditions. According to Essence magazine, they began singing together and there was an instant chemistry. Since their voices blended perfectly, they decided to form a trio and Brownstone was born. Mimi told the magazine, we picked our name because brown is the earth and stone is solid. When speaking on heart and soul, Mimi said singing together was something that came natural to them and recording music was a magical experience. Unlike other girl groups that experience tension and friction, Nikki told Essence magazine they had a strong foundation and always operated together as a unit. The group told Heart and Soul they met a series of people, which eventually led them to meeting the president of the King of Pops MJJ music label through Epic Records. Nikki said they eventually sang for the president of the label. Five months after forming Brownstone, they signed their record contract and also signed a publishing deal as songwriters. Their debut album, From the Bottom Up, was released in January 1995. The album produced several unforgettable hits, including If You Love Me, which landed at number eight on the charts and was certified gold. Their song Grapevine peaked at number 49, while Pass the Lovin' and I Can't Tell You Why also received a lot of airplay. Thanks to the popularity of these singles, From the Bottom Up was certified platinum and spent 37 weeks on the Billboard 200 chart. The album also earned them the respect of their peers when it was nominated for a Grammy and a Billboard Music Award. Banking on their popularity and success, the ladies embarked on a global tour. While they thrilled fans with their powerful voices, things took a turn. According to VH1, soon after their 1995 tour, it was reported that Mimi developed bronchitis and needed to leave the group. The truth wasn't revealed until many years later. According to VH1, Mimi said the real reason she left Brownstone was due to personal problems with the other members including a big disagreement with Nikki. Mimi was replaced by a woman named Kina Cosper. In Kina's Epic Records bio, she acknowledged the pressure she faced when joining an established and successful group. Kina admitted she was nervous when she first entered the studio to record their sophomore album, but things turned out well. Nikki was also feeling a lot of pressure. She said, it was really important for us to realize that our job was not to try and outdo the first record, but to make an album of songs from the heart. Still Climbing was released in 1997. Their track, Five Miles to Empty, gained popularity and peaked at number 39 on the charts. They also headed out on a European tour with Keith Sweat. Unfortunately, Still Climbing failed in comparison to the debut album, and lower-than-expected album sales were the least of their problems. According to Soul and Stereo, Kina never quite fit in with the other two ladies, and she left Brownstone to embark on a solo career. In 1998, Brownstone appeared on the soundtrack to the Players Club with the song Don't Play Me Wrong. After that, there was complete radio silence from the group. In 2007, they added a new member named Tisha Lott, but they could never get things in order to release a third album. Nikki transitioned from music to television when she appeared on R&B Divas Atlanta in 2012. During her time on the show, she rubbed a lot of viewers the wrong way. Her attitude was so questionable, Rolling Out magazine reported she was one of the most, quote, 
universally reviled and repelling personalities on television. It was also reported that she was dropped from the show in 2013. In 2014, Nikki claimed the show caused her irreparable damage. She told CocoFab website she wished she had never done the show because the bad press affected her mother, her marriage, and her business. She said that she lost investment opportunities and brands wanted nothing to do with her. Nikki added, My heart is as big as my mouth is, but you don't get the big heart on the show. Any hopes of a brownstone reunion with the original group members took a tragic turn in 2015 when TMZ reported Maxie was home with her son when she was involved in a bizarre accident. According to the website, she fell down while holding a wine glass. The glass broke behind her head, causing injuries to her neck. Her husband came home some time later and called 911. Sadly, she didn't recover from the injury and passed away at the age of 46. The police later determined there was no foul play involved. Brownstone was introduced to a younger generation when Tory Lanez sampled the group's hit, If You Love Me, for his 2016 single, Say It. Nikki called it a bittersweet moment since Maxie was unable to hear Tory's record. In 2019, Mimi and Nikki reunited for the first time in years at Essence Fest. Nikki said she knew Maxie was there in spirit, and they were continuing to honor her as a part of their sisterhood. The group announced they were reintroducing themselves as the Brownstone Experience. Nikki said, What we are doing is pushing the envelope, putting our millennial caps on, and rebranding. Traditionally a trio, the group welcomed a fourth member, Aaron Jackson. Unfortunately, the Brownstone Experience hasn't put out any new music, but we wish the ladies nothing but the best. Let us know if you're shocked by what happened to Brownstone. And thanks for watching Real Reality Gossip.